Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to our Flashpoint review of the LG V30 after 45 days. Now the LG V30 is finally here and available. I've been using it for quite a bit, actually maybe even more than 45 days, since September. LG got us the devices, it was great. We used a pre-production unit, we used a final unit. And I have to say though, I've been really impressed. Now I wish the device came out sooner because a lot of people have got their hands on this, but I will say LG has done a good job improving from the V20 and the V10. But the thing I love the most about the V30 after using this long is audio. The headphone jack comes with a quad DAC, a solid amp, and it gives you awesome audio. This is the best smartphone to listen to music on. Plain and simple, there is nothing other than that. And you've also got Aptex HD for Bluetooth audio, so you're getting at least better than CD quality audio there. But the quad DAC on this thing is beautiful. Oh my God. This is the listening experience that you want. Why? So when you use a normal smartphone or any other smartphone, just in general, when you want to listen to music, you want to get here all those rich sounds, you kind of crank up your volume. On the V30, you're going at about 45% and that's it because the, it just drives your music so much better. So that's why I can use headphones like the Bear Dynamics uh, Salento, which are premium headphones, which I should be using with something that has uh, at least a DAC, but I do have a DAC built in here, so I can drive these headphones and enjoy them quite well. They are just lovely pair of headphones and they do a really good job uh, of just channeling what the V30 can actually do. I think the V30 does a fantastic job. I could go on forever. I carry this phone just to listen to music. Literally, that's one of the main functions of my V30. It's kind of sad, but that is what I do. Now, um, moving on to from, from audio, uh, the V30 also does a really good job of battery life. The battery life is, is really solid. It lasts me pretty much a whole day. I don't stress about it. I don't need to worry. It's also got fast charging. You've got wireless charging in there. And you've got also all those um, uh, lifestyle access uh, accessories added to it. So this water and dust resistance, which is great. It's mil spec 30, but that's where I find it a little bit iffy because it's got that glass back and glass front. Uh, I actually dinged and cracked my pre-production unit. So I've been very careful with my, uh, my final unit, my V30. And I suggest just get a case with it. It doesn't matter what case you want to use with it. Go ahead and get a case because you definitely need it for the LG V30. It's just one of those things that you definitely have to do. Uh, when it comes to the display, you've got a six inch display. I will say for me, my experience, I found my pre-production unit to be slightly better than the final unit. I didn't have too much of a yellow tint, just a smidge, but it was noticeable, at least for me. A lot of people won't on the V30, I think, uh, but it's just something that LG needs to work on. I just have to put it out there. It's something I saw when I turned on my device and I was like, whoa, come on. So I have to put it out there um, on this device. But one of the big things LG talks about with the V30 is the camera. The camera is one of the biggest things. And I have to say, if you're looking for a camera that gives you pro features, the V30 is the device for you. In terms of auto and quickly snapping, it does a good job, but it is not the best. I would just put it out there. It's solid, it's nice, but where this thing shines is when you're taking manual photos or recording videos in manual, because you can do so much. This is the phone that allows you to be a professional uh, without getting the high expensive gear that we use every day, like you know my camera here or all the other gear I use, because you can do so many things with it. You can actually go ahead and and just you know uh, balance out the mics, the front and the rear, account for wind noise. You can go change your ISO while you're recording, things like that that you can only do with professional cameras. You can do with the V30, and it shows. Even some of the software that make it simpler, like Graphy, that takes in uh, settings for different scenes and it quickly applies them to whatever shots you want to do. Yes, it's great, but it also shows you what you need to do as a professional. And I like that. And if you're looking for that, that is what the V30 is all the way through. Uh, this device is solid all around. It's some things that LG needs to work on. The display is one of them. The software is getting better, but I do like the fact that this is an awesome uh, smartphone for listening to music and also just capturing content on a at least a prosumer level. So if that's what you're looking for, then the V30 is your device to use. Some of you quickly ask me, what about software? What about software? It's a bit much better. It's smooth. It's nice. 
Uh, I think LG needs to again, like I said, do a few more things, but I do like what they have here. Now, if you guys are looking for the wallpaper, yes, again, my friend, Royal Flush, AKA Danny, uh, we, I'm gonna be hosting a lot of her wallpapers on my smartphone reviews. So if you wanna go ahead and pick that up, use the link down below, go ahead. Um, she drew those, she made them, and she makes some awesome stuff, so hey. I can't complain. But anyway, guys, thank you very much. If you're looking to pick up the LG V30, we have a link for you down below, or any of those cases, or even the headphones. Let us know, we have them for you in our Amazon store. Don't forget to like and share this video, favor this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.